All right, good morning. I am on my way. Just starting my little walk. Should be at the train yard in about 14, 15 minutes. My pace is a little slow today. I haven't been walking. We've had quite a bit of rain. And right now it's just a few degrees, degrees above freezing. So it's pretty cold out here. But I wanted to head over here today and uh, see if I can find my pennies that would have got ran over about five days ago. Something like that. So yeah, hopefully I can make it over here and spend some time at the train yard and see if there's anything going on. All right, I'm a little bit huffing and puffing and just got over here and it doesn't look like there's anything going on. I see two. Oh, wait a minute. Look at that. The, the railroad tide pile is different. And it looks like there's been more rails added. So it's been, I think, since it was either Monday or Tuesday was the last day I came over here. And today's Friday. So I see what looks like two engines and the top is missing off the railroad tie pile. We've had rain, as you can see the puddles, and they have removed the barricade. There was a cable going across there and they've removed it and you can see they've had equipment in here. So they are apparently getting rid of the railroad tie pile. All right, it's a very overcast day. And as I said, it's 34 degrees. Around here, the freezing is 32. I guess it's the same everywhere, I don't know. Yeah, let's walk down here. I would have left the pennies just on the other side of these rails. And when I say I left them at the end of these rails, I mean that I left them over there on the main line which is three tracks over or maybe down a little bit farther so I don't see anybody around I'm always on the lookout for homeless people that might be around I just don't want to interact with them and that railroad tie pile has a lot of them have vanished you can see the heavy equipment marks so looking down there at the yard or at the the station which would be the office area i see what looks like two engines with their lights on so let's head over here to the main line and we'll see what is going on I'll get over there so we can look down there and see if i can see an engine down there Okay, crossing over would be the secondary main line. Now we're on the main line. I would have left the pennies somewhere right in this area. There's a good chance they've been picked up because it's been at least four days. I'll examine this area pretty closely. Looking down the main line, I see absolutely nothing down there and now that I'm over here closer I see what looks like three engines sitting there at the office and it took me no time to find where they're at and amazingly absolutely amazingly one is still on the tracks I can't believe it still is maybe very little activity has been happening over here in the last four days. So I can see where the other one was at. It was right there and I see it right down there. So let's look around. There should be one more somewhere around here. Okay, always keeping an eye out. Just want to watch my back here. Looking down that way. Oh my goodness, there's something on the tracks down there. Yeah, it doesn't have a light on it. 
but there was something that wasn't there before unless there was some fog down there and I couldn't see it so something is on the main line I can hear nothing so I don't know so this penny was here and it does not look like it has a date on it so I don't know where there should have been I don't remember if this was a big one that got ran over multiple times it looks like it could be the other one that does say 67 I can barely make out a 67 on that was over here so I'll scout around a little bit longer and see if I can find one more penny I'm gonna go ahead and take these home today well I cannot find a third one I've looked all over this area so somebody could have picked it up and then just tossed it away somewhere but I got two of them and they're pretty run over at least I got the 67 and looking down here whatever that is at the end of a train here on the main line and I can see a flashing red light so that's a tail light for the end of the train so there is something going on I do have my GoPro session that I would like to put on the way down here I got a little base for it too in my other pocket so maybe we'll get down here and we'll set that there but I think for right now I'm gonna walk over here to this timber pile and just see what it looks like up close now well they got an awful lot of rails here that's for sure and they've been storing them here for some time. It looks like more has been added. So obviously they would take and uh, maybe refurbish them. Or at least uh, recycle them, melt them down. So they're just coming up with more of them. And we see some pretty big caterpillar tracks, I do believe. So they've had something over here to be getting the railroad ties I think we can kind of have a close up look at that needle of course there are lots of needles here but they're everywhere honestly you see them on the streets and the sidewalks outside of Winco sometimes yeah I don't know if somebody was living in there or not so this thing here Oh, I do not remember what exactly this is called, but it's to switch. It's a switch. It's a switch area, and it looks like it's pretty old. All right. Well, it's pretty muddy here because it has rained. Yes, I'm very glad that this pile is in the process of disappearing. I was never really sure if somebody was trying to shelter in there. It looked like it for a while. Because we, we could see this and some other things. And oh man, these just smell tremendously of creosote. Yeah, it looks like some people have kind of been hanging out here. Maybe right over there where that cardboard's at. Somewhere right in this area. I believe it was on this side. Is where the news crew was filming. After the young woman was found dead from exposure. Anyway, I will be glad to see this gone because I still want to come down here. Yeah, I see. It looks like three engines over there at the office. Didn't sound like they're... Okay, I've walked down here about as far as I would go. And there's just nothing going on. Yeah, except I'm getting cold. Now that I'm not walking so much. I'm cold. So I think I should start the walk back. Just kind of a crapshoot. 
come down here any time of the day and might be stuff happening and there might not. All right, one last look down the main line. Whatever that is flashing down there red is not coming any closer and it doesn't appear to be going away. But I'm sure it'll be heading this way. All right, now I'm gonna head for home. I should be nice and warmed up by time I get there. And I'll be back on my walk maybe tomorrow and Sunday but Monday for sure so that's gonna be it for now we'll mop up the runny nose and if you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one thanks for watching